We're downstairs. I'm back. Uncle Nate, CTO. Luke's out of town once again, working on the LA store. The, the LA store is coming very soon. We're really excited. It's gonna be sick. More details coming soon on that. And if y'all haven't fucking peeped the podcast, Nasty Work Podcast, it's a library of Alexandra. So much knowledge, so much human knowledge, so much going on. Nephews and nephets. As you know, I gotta drop a little bit of knowledge on you guys. I gotta give you guys a little bit of advice. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of game about something very important as we go into the summer. And that's how to go on a good date. I hear horror stories. I see it on Reddit. I see it on Instagram. I hear those horrible things. I'm gonna give y'all just just some tips, you know what I'm saying? Y'all aren't gonna be like, like hitting it like me, but hopefully you'll be able to get close. So we're gonna get into the close. HBA button down. This is like a HBA correctional officer shirt. You are definitely taking people's commissary with this one on. <laughs> size extra large, that's a good size. Prada, Stompers, very nice, good condition as you can see. 38 and a half. Whoever had these really wasn't stomping in these. They never even went up to Storm King. They never took their girlfriend to Dia Beacon. They never went upstate and like went hiking or anything in these. These are purely city steppers, city steppers. Brick, Ramones, they got the playground mulch, it looks like is what it's made of. <laughs> Size 42, we love them, you'll love them too. Prada nylon joints, so we got the zip on the side, very slutty. Look at how much thigh you can show. Ooh. What kind of underwear do you think you're gonna be wearing with these? You to show tidy whities tidy definitely tidy whities under these. And then you like, you see a shorty and you're like, you're like, you see what I got on? A little, little tattoo action. Oh, you can show off the thigh tats, like oh, maybe a little bit of meat. <laughs> <laughs> They're very nice. They're beautiful. Size 54. Prada trench guy. This shit is hard. You might be going, right you're going fishing. <laughs> Caught your bitch. Anyways, I mean, if it fits me, if it's like a big, medium, or like a like a large. We got the freaky ass Nordy Kazuki collab. Look at all the pockets. Big tactical energy, Gore-Tex, and it looks to be brand new. It is a size US. It's a medium. In Asia, it says large. What are they trying to say with that? Come uh, on, bro. Mm, I'm gonna drop it. Oh shit. We got the dick appointment 3000s right here. She's not ready for these. They aren't ready, he's not ready. No one's ready for these. And they are a size 38. So they're kind of little. They got a little bit of stretch in them though. I'd squeeze right up in these motherfuckers, I'm not gonna lie. We got the capital pillow jacket. Wow, so innovative. So many uses while you can, uh, oh, I'm sleeping, sweet, sweet capital dreams. And then you can, You can open it like this. It's very practical for um, sleeping and dressing. Dude. See? It took me no time at all. Uh, capital jacket. Boom, look at the back. Goddamn. Mmm. <laughs> wow, amazing. It's a size four. So uh, if you find yourself drowsy and you want to drip, this is a jacket for you. Last but not least, we have some really freaky fucking accessories. We got the, uh, did they not like us with the Martine Rose racing gloves? Guys, by the way, who do you think won the beef? Just kidding, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I literally could care less. We actually got two pairs. So you can get one for you and wifey to drive. You're just gonna go over to the little coffee spot. You're gonna drink it in your plastic coffee cup filled with Micro microplastics and shit. Your balls are already <laughs> filled with microplastics and you need something like this. You need just a little ceramic cup. Boom, look at that. You can yes. drink your coffee in this, a ceramic. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? That's called quality. It's got the little plastic top. Good fucking shit. No, it's rubber. This doesn't have the microplastics in it. This is fine. We got the Balenciaga key earring. This is probably one of the sluttiest earrings I've ever seen in my life. I'm saying for the 10% of women of our followers that actually follows. A nigga that wears this is not calling anyone back. He only thinks about himself. He's got the key. He's got the key to it all. And we got the Balenciaga FBI agent. Let me just show off your badge. And then uh, last but not least, we got Toys R Us Celine glasses. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
So, you know, the dating, how to go on a good date, and how to make sure that you and your date are having a good time. Now, we've all seen it on TikTok a million fucking times. Oh my God, I went on a date and it was so boring. This motherfucker was so boring. Da, 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 da. It's a tale that's as old as time. Your grandmama and your mama used to be on a rotary phone. They used to talk shit and say the exact same shit. These are tips that are as old as time. And I'm really hoping that everything I'm saying is not new. If it's not new, this is not for you. You know what I'm saying? Preemptive prep. If you are going on a date, you should make sure that your bed is made, that your sheets are clean, your bathroom is clean. It shouldn't feel so sterile that the woman or the, the person feels like they're in a, like a surgical theater, but they should not feel disgusted when they cross the threshold of your home. So when you're going on a date, the environment is very key. Personally, I don't like to go on dinner dates or to the movies or something like that the first time that I hang out with them. To me, the perfect thing to do is to go and get a drink or if you don't drink to get like coffee with them. Now, this is not to say like I wouldn't buy them dinner or like I wouldn't invest in them. You know, I've seen those TikToks like a million fucking times, but really it's just like, if we're not like connecting, we're not vibing, either one of us can just get up and leave. Like there's no obligation. You don't have to sit through an entire awkward ass meal. When you go out, with a person that you're romantically interested in, then you should be actively hitting on them. When they come up, you should be like, wow, you look you look beautiful. You look handsome. You look great tonight. Like, wow. You want to show that you have a level of attraction towards whoever that you're on a date with. If you're just like on your phone, sitting there, not kind of like flirting with them, then like, what's the point of even like going out with them? If you are feeling that type of connection, you should be hitting on them. You should be actively fucking with them a little bit, like teasing them in a little bit of way. But I feel like where a lot of dudes or people in general, where they kind of fall down here is like, don't cross a crazy boundary. You don't know this person very, very well yet. <laughs> this isn't your twin. Like you're not locked in with this person. If you have to think about it, then whatever you're saying, it's not it. Even when you sit down, the way that you're sitting with a person is very key. I like to sit directly next to whoever I'm on a so date with. So real, so real. Right? Now, I don't like to sit across from them. This isn't an interview. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All of this is about building the connection. Throughout the date, obviously, and once again, I hope I'm not saying anything new to y'all. There should be no expectations for anything oh, at all. Right. The only expectation you should have is that you should be expecting to have a good time. If the time that you're having is a net negative versus the time that you could be like spending alone or like hanging out with like the homies just having beers, then like, why are you hanging out with this person? It makes no fucking sense. So all that to say, when you go out on a date, are you just gonna walk outside wearing your vintage banana republic button down that you got off of ebay i think the fuck not you need to show her that you're cozy that you have a home that you go back to what you need to pull up in is a capital pillow bomber you got it all figured out you're planning on so many different levels your roth ira fully contributed to okay your <laughs> savings account six months or whatever the fuck the red pill dudes say you need to come through and show her or them or he that you're it that you're the fucking shit and we have all the accoutrements to help you do that here luke's nyc 261 broom street 